Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com and we are talking about tantric sex and vital sex. The topic for this video is how to set up clear boundaries. Boundaries are limits. They are the yes and they are the no's. They are the possibilities that are open and the ones that are closed. Being aware of the landscape of what's okay and what is not for your partner is one essential aspect of creating safety in your tantric couple. So there are very simple ways to do that. The first one is to ask these questions. What do you like and what is it that you don't like? Very simple. You give your partner the space to share exactly what pleases them in sex and what doesn't. So that's already going to give you some hints. Then the next question is, what is okay and what is not? These are more firm limits that you can have in your tantric exchange. For instance, you might engage into tantric sex, play with a partner who doesn't want to get naked. They are not comfortable with getting naked for whatever reason, because maybe you're, it's just too early, it's in early stages, or maybe they don't want to be kissed, or maybe you don't want to be kissed, or maybe it's too early for intercourse. And so knowing exactly what is okay or not is going to give you very clear limits. And then you can uh, engage into a tantric sex session from a place of real awareness and respect. An important aspect of setting up boundaries and limits in what is okay and what is not is to be okay with the yes and be okay with the no as well. It means that if your partner tells you kissing you right now is too much it's too much for me, especially when you are in the early stages of your connection. You know, you might have spent an evening together and you want to explore tantric sex. It doesn't mean that you need to engage full on into intercourse, a full on sexual session. You can stay in the full play zone for extended periods of time, breathing together, making eye contact. And uh, if you feel a very strong sexual desire, don't think that just being in this four-play zone is going to be boring in any way. On the contrary, dare to explore that space. And back to boundaries, it's important to take a yes as much as a no. A yes means nothing if your lover or partner doesn't know or doesn't dare to say no to you. The agreement must come from the heart, from a deep place of acceptance. If your partner says yes to you because they know that each time you say no or you put a limit, you explode energetically, disconnect or become emotionally abusive, then that doesn't create safety respect it's super important to bring that dimension of respect and acceptance of your partner's boundaries into the tantric sex space this is what is going to create safety and allow you to engage forward together another aspect to have clear boundaries is to check in when you're engaging, you can always check with your partner. Is this okay? Am I going too far? Does that hurt? Does that give you pleasure? So when you're checking in, you're really feeling into what's okay and what is not for them. You know, if you feel that they are getting a little bit uncomfortable with something that you're doing, just stop, pause, dare to delay your sexual gratification and don't focus uniquely on your own pleasure listen to their signals.
another key aspect is timing. Very often you will engage into a session and know that you only have a certain period of time. You might have an hour, you might have two hours, you might have maybe five minutes or 15 minutes. But the point is that you're, if your partner is not available for more, or if you are not available yourself for maybe more than an hour, just be okay with the moment of disconnection. The moment your partner has to leave, don't beg, don't insist, don't pressure, don't demand, don't get angry, don't disconnect emotionally. Stay connected, say respect. Thank you, I loved having you here. Have a good night, a good evening, I'll see you soon again. You see, don't come with neediness patterns because that also creates a strong emotional tension between the two of you. Another key aspect of boundaries is to consciously decide whether you want to be in an exclusive connection with that person, only have sex with that person for the time being, or if you want to be in an open, free flow relationship. This is one of the core, most challenging questions that you have to answer with your partner. And by making it clear and having a clear decision and integrity around what you're saying, this will create lots of safety. Most romantic connections that I'm exposed to, when I witness that around me in my friends or in my clients, a lot of the trouble, a lot of the lack of safety, a lot of the hurt has to do with not being clear about being open or being exclusive. So for instance, you might meet a person who tells you they want to be exclusive, but then they are extremely sexual with your friends. Or they tell you they want to be exclusive, then change their minds, have sex with somebody else and don't tell you about it. In which case you feel maybe betrayed or you feel like it's really a cheating episode. So clarity around being exclusive or being open is another essential aspect of creating safety in your tantric sex experience. Here are those few points again to summarize. What you like and what you don't like, what's okay and what is not. Be okay with a yes or with a no. Respect your partner's decisions. Check the timing. Make sure that you don't become needy when the tantric sex experience is over. Check in while you're having sex or while you're playing. And decide together whether you are in an open or an exclusive relationship. Enjoy.